Hi, this is just a test video because what I'm going to do here, you're actually going to see this video twice. This exact same video uploaded twice to my EV Blog 2 channel and to all my alternative platforms because what I'm testing here is that when I uh, render my files, I'll go in here and here's my latest uh, uh, Solar Roadways video, not yet released. Um, and if I go in here and render as, okay, when I actually uh, render this, I actually um, uh, depending on the type of content it, it, it uses, I generally like for this uh, like screen capture one. I'll typically do uh, 1080p, 30 frames per second because that's what I record at, and uh, eight megabits per second. And if we go in here and we customize the uh, template here, I'm using uh, Vegas here. Please don't mention any other editors. Just don't waste my time, please. Um, anyway, I do uh, variable, so I use the NV Enc encoder, which is the NVIDIA uh, encoder, and I uh, encode it at a variable bit rate here. And I, um, in this particular case, I have um, eight megabits, which is, I think, the recommended uh, bit rate for YouTube with a maximum of 20. So it'll be an average bit. So by the time it finishes, it should be an average bit rate of like eight megabits per second. And then uh, various other ones, of course, you know, if I'm doing like four, if I'm rendering like 4K, uh, for example, like a teardown video, I'll do like 24 megabits per second average, which again is what uh, YouTube recommend. But I'll use uh, the variable bit rate. Now, what I want to actually do is uh, I want to now experiment with rendering videos in, and I'll explain why in a second, rendering videos in eight, uh, constant quality mode. Because yes, I use Handbrake for my, um, wear of Handbrake and I use constant quality mode in Handbrake, um, but that's only for my podcast version. I don't want to do a multi-step process before I upload to YouTube. So I want to just output from Vegas, but I want to use a constant quality mode to get the file size down. So I'm using the exact same settings as before, but I'm going into constant QP mode here, which is constant quality mode, basically. So it, basically there is no minimum, maximum bit rate. It like just adjusts the bit rate well, actually, I don't know if that's actually the case. I don't know what the average... No, it can't be because the file size is different. Trust me. Um, so the file size, I've tested this, and the file size is very different. The file size is much smaller, depends on the content, but it's much smaller than it is with constant quality mode, which is what I get with Handbrake. Anyway, I, so I want to experiment with that. So it basically, um, it's constantly changing... Uh, the bit rate depending on the amount of change in information in the video. So if I've got a like you know a mostly static image like this, um, these screen captures these actually compress quite well even with standard variable bit rate down to like small uh, file sizes because there's not much change in on the screen. So it doesn't need to push up that higher bit rate. It's just my little talking head down here and there's no like uh, shaky cam footage or anything like that. It's crisp, clean, uh, unchanging uh, background here, right? So that's really good for the uh, compression algorithm. So screen captures actually compress really low in file size. And uh, so the problem is, this is not a problem for YouTube, okay? For years I haven't worried. I used to worry about file size. Here's all my original files going back almost to number one. I do have number one somewhere, but anyway. Um, it, let's go right to the bottom. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, 13, you know, so here's my re recent ones, okay? And I've done some tests here. You can see how uh, I did my regular 8 megabits per second uh, output, and it was 174 meg here. I did the exact same video again, and it was only 44 meg. This is like just an example, like three minute uh, render. So it was much for smaller file size, but I can't really pick the difference. So once again, I've just, uh, here's my files, like some big ones, like this compact portable teardown, but that's 4K, right? That's like six and a half uh, gigabytes, right? That is a lot. Um, you know, it's quite large. And mailbag, like even though that's only uh, 1080p, um, but that's, you know, over six gig again because it's like an hour long and stuff like that. But even, you know, why are these pins shorter? 1.5 meg, like a battery leakage. Uh, was that a screen? I can't, oh, no, that was just a very short one. But, you know, my file sizes are right up there. Now, the problem with this is that is not as I said not for YouTube. Nobody has any problem playing back on YouTube. But all of my alternative platforms, Odyssey, for example, I just hit fifty thousand subscribers on Odyssey. Thank you very much. Um, and Bitshoot and Utreon and uh, and Vimeo and others. Right, I'm autumn. I get 
these systems to automatically pull my videos from YouTube. And if I upload to YouTube in a really high quality large file format, I don't know if it's pulling the exact file, but it seems to be pulling very large files. Now, normally, um, of course, what uh, Odyssey slash library, for example, recommend is, of course, to use Handbrake before you upload. But I don't have that option because I want it to automatically pull my videos because it'll pull in the video, the thumbnail, the description, the, the links, the keywords. It just pulls in everything and makes it easy. I don't want to have to be uploading the same different file to like, you know, half a dozen different platforms that I want. It's stupid. So I figure if I can get my file size down that I uh, upload to YouTube that I used to do back in the old days when it actually mattered when upload bandwidth was a problem, right? I'd make four more smile files as, as small as possible so that I could upload in a reasonable time. But now upload speed is just, you know, it's practically instant here. I've got like a, what is it? 250 meg upload, uh, megbits upload. So it's, it's not a problem. It's really quick. Um, and of course, no f storage problems on YouTube or playback problems. But on places like Odyssey um, that have a buffering problem, it's a, it's a real issue. So I'm going to do this exact same file. I'm going to render it twice, um, and I'm going to use one will be it'll be labeled in the description, and one will be constant quality. One will be uh, just my regular output in variable bitrate because I want to test if that exact same file uploaded in two different files. One will be smaller, constant quality with smaller upload to YouTube if they actually pull into Odyssey and other platforms at a different file size, right? So, and Odyssey tells you what the file size is because you can just download the file from Odyssey, right? Um, you don't, like, it has a direct link there to do it. It tells you what the file size is. So this is just a test to check whether or not um, YouTube reprocesses it, does whatever, and I'm going to end up with exactly the same file size result, in which case, well, there's no point in me doing this constant quality thing. I may as well get upload the best quality possible to YouTube and be done with it or whether or not it'll download quicker. So I, I actually don't know. I hope it does. So this is a test. I'll let you know, or you can look at the comments down below or have a look for yourself. The file size, see if it's any different. Go to my Odyssey channel, link down below, and see if the file size is different between these two videos. If it is, I'll upload in constant quality from now on. So there you go. I'll start a render. So I'll drop this into the timeline, this video, and then I'll render it. Catch you next time.